Very good evening to you. Cricket, motorsport and the return of a gold medal hero to come. But we start with a multi-billion dollar international sport, much of which has been left to chance until now. Breeding racehorses has traditionally involved a combination of studying family histories and pedigrees and crossing your fingers. But now a Kent-based scientist has come up with a genetic recipe for a successful horse. Holly Lewis has the story. She might not be the perfect racehorse, but this yearling has a better chance of growing into a winner because of information supplied by Dr. Stephen Harrison. He's the first person in the world to discover a genetic pattern in the DNA of thoroughbred horses, which dictates how fast they can run and over what distance. The speed genes are inherited through the female line, so racehorse owners can have their mares screened to find out which of the genes they possess and in what combination before they decide which stallion to breed with. We're hoping that uh, the, the tests will become so widespread that people recognise them as a, as a normal means of assessing a horse's capabilities. So in that way it will act as a kind of rubber stamp which goes on top of other ways they might assess horses like confirmation and pedigree. Thoroughbred Genetics is based at the Kent Science Park in Sittingbourne, where Dr. Harrison spent six years researching the genes with his colleague Juan Luis Turian from the University of Salamanca in Spain. They've recently published a scientific paper on the subject. Inside every one of these tiny tubes is some DNA material from a thoroughbred racehorse. And inside this tube is the information about how this horse's offspring might perform on the racecourse. The development has been greeted with interest by racehorse trainers. I think that um, it will be a help, but the problem is what it doesn't factor in is that horses need to actually have to want to win. And it also doesn't factor in the injury risks and so on. And if a horse picks up a slight injury, then maybe it won't perform to its full potential. Breeders pay up to half a million pounds just to put their mare with a successful stallion. So it seems this rigorous scientific research is also a pretty good bet. Holly Lewis in Sittingbourne for Meridian Tonight.